Ryan Luther, welcome to the film room. Uh, I know you've been here before, but uh, this is the first of, uh, of this type of setting. So uh, relax. This is uh, a conversation between two guys from Pittsburgh. We'll, we'll take a look at some clips here from uh, the early season. Let me ask you, what is it like being a twin? I guess I don't know what it's like not to be a twin. So, but I mean, it's been good. Me and my brother have all the same friends and do the same stuff. So it's yeah. pretty easy. If um, you went home for Christmas and wanted to stay longer and you sent your brother in your place, how many days would go by without me figuring it out? Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe one or two days. He's, he's smaller and uglier. So. <laughs> when you think of Pittsburgh, the great city that it is, what comes to mind? Uh, really just, I guess, just the people. I mean, I mean, I guess in good and bad ways, just kind of how they are and, you know. Yeah, I, I think that the one thing about Pittsburgh is that they can be hard on their own. Do you agree with me on that? Yes. You know, it's, it's such a, a tough-minded place and, you know, you you love the Steelers when they win and sometimes you don't when they lose. And Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, the Steelers lost two in a row, so I'm kind of glad I'm not there. The city's probably about to burn down, but... <laughs> Staying on this Pittsburgh track here, what's your favorite place to eat lunch if you had one to pick? If I were to take someone new yeah. to Pittsburgh, probably just take them to uh, Permanis. Permanis. Get them a sandwich. And, uh, and if, yeah. if for people who don't understand Permanis Brothers sandwiches, uh, describe it. Uh, it's kind of like a ridiculous sandwich with a bunch of, uh, bunch of meats, cheese, french fries. Coleslaw, all piled right. the up. The coleslaw it. from the white bucket, right? Yeah. The fries that are about as thick as you can make them. And <laughs> yeah. the fries are on the sandwich. Yes. And the bread is uh, Mancini's bread, my yeah. favorite. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I've, I've eaten it many times. So, Rilu, as you know, I'm an avid Pittsburgh Steelers fan, right? So we're going to play uh, matching names, right? When I think of the Pittsburgh Steelers, my all-time favorite Pittsburgh Steeler is number 58, the great Jack Lambert. I've named my dog after him, as you know. Yeah. Who's your Jack Lambert? I'd probably just have to say Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, it's kind of a generic answer, but I mean, pretty much ever since I can remember watching your the Steelers, yeah. he's, he's been quarterback, so. On to the less important thing here, right? They're giving you some feedback of, uh, of our early season. And, you know, I think most of our fans know this, and certainly your teammates and coaches know this, but... You know, you've, you've been playing injured, and uh, I think th that your injury is getting better every day. Um, as I've tried to explain it, you know, you get hurt in the first game at Maui, and then you have to play game two and game three on consecutive days, especially against Gonzaga and Auburn. Uh, it's really not a fair fight, and we respect and appreciate you even playing. And the good news is, like we had talked about when it happened, it seems like every day that goes by, you're getting more and more comfortable. And against UConn, my opinion is the most comfortable you've been since the Iowa State game. Did yeah. you feel that way? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So I think part of what we've tried to really get you to think about as a player is being more aggressive, right? When Ryan Luther is the most aggressive basketball player that he can be, I think you're the, the best basketball player uh, version of yourself because you're not one-dimensional. You, you don't do just one thing. You can do many things. You're smart, you know, you're physical, and yet you're skilled. And I think it's up to us, especially in this short period of time that we're together, to bring out all of those qualities, okay? So we're going to look at a few clips from, uh, from as far back as Maui and then build towards UConn of maybe some meaning behind it. You know, number one, our defense you know, we're not maybe a great shot blocking team, Rylu, and for you as one of our bigs, um, we try to protect the rim in different ways, one of which is utilizing our team and our bigs to draw charges, right? Chase does a great job at it. And again, this is a long possession. You think about the shot clock here. Man, it's under five seconds. Here you are. Big time play. Again, you're the lowest, closest man, and you get there at the tip of the charge circle. And again, when, and we talk about it a lot, right? 
a charge might be the most valuable play in a game. I think the other thing that, that you've really done a good job of is when there's been a loose ball or the ball gets popped around, man, you, you're eager to get on the floor, which says a lot about who you are as a player. Again, great job being in the gap, protecting Brandon, and, you know, dive the floor, keep the ball alive. And again, Ira makes a hard play on the ball. You know, that's his gift, right? Probably the most athletic of our bigs. But again, there's a lot of different ways to be physical and smart and protect the basket. We've talked about drawing the charge, showed a few of your hustle plays. You know, this is what we call walling up, right? And again, I think because of how you are, your experience, you know, you're not a small guy. Sometimes just coming into the play, hands straight up and making them finish over you is a smart move. And again, I think the more that you think in these terms, I draw charges, I block out, I'm a guy who gets on the floor for loose balls, and around the basket, I'll come into the picture and wall up and use my physicality. You know, those are all things that you don't have to block shots. You can be an excellent defensive player. The next part for, for you is that we do not want you to be just a jump shooter or one-dimensional. And I, again, I think the more confident you are in your hand moving forward, the easier this part will be. And free throw attempts, I think, is a good gauge. You know, we went several games here where you shot only one free throw. I think that's a number that both of us have to be aware of, you know. Offensive rebounding, putting the ball on the floor, you know, getting out in transition, being in the game late in the game like you were at UConn, and you should get to the line a couple of times each game, right? So we're working together to make that happen, but your gift on offense is, man, you're one of our team's best shooters. And as we keep playing, getting these guards like Justin Coleman, when he drives below the foul line to see you, obviously that's a great pass. And I want you to take that shot every single time without hesitation because our team needs you to do that. Here's a clever play again. You talk about getting fouls. You backdoor your, your defender and you get an easy Lay up, great pass by Ira. But again, moving without the ball, that's, that's a player being aggressive and smart. The one more pass, again, great pass here by Brandon Randolph. He finds you. Do not hesitate. I mean, in practice and in our drills, I think you're the second best overall shooter we have. So, you know, trying to make sure that you always are comfortable and we find you, uh, I think that's something that I want you to know that's our expectation, but our team will keep getting better at trying to find you. Okay. Now, saying one dimensional, that's shooting. Here's some things that, you know, we, we got to keep doing better. But this is a, obviously one of our plays to get the ball inside. And keep in mind, because you play the four for us, sometimes you're guarded by a smaller player. And when that happens, it's up to both of us to try to get you closer to the basket. Obviously, great screen there by Dylan. Nice pass by Alex. But how many more shots per game can we get you around the rim? And there's some things we can do. This is an example like calling your number. But I also think there's some things that you can do. Offensive rebounding, you know, right? Cutting without the ball so that you can get those two-point shots and maybe some more free throws. Another great example where you use your shot and people will know you can shoot it. He runs at you. You drive in and think about the consequences. It's a made basket, but now you get a free throw attempt. And it's not a play we ran. It's just you using your greatest strength, your ability to shoot and drive the ball and be aggressive when the opportunity presents itself. The more aggressive you are, Ryan, the better our team is. Ryan, appreciate you uh, coming into the film room. Uh, looking forward to uh, our remaining non-conference games. You know, just so you know, you are doing an outstanding job. You know, from the second that you've been here in Tucson, your attitude, your unselfish nature, your good nature, and... You know, you're not only a terrific player, but you're a great teammate. So we, uh, we appreciate having you. All Thank right? you. Thanks, Coach. Hey, one last thing. Have you seen when you were at the foul line against UConn uh, your mom and dad in the stands? I have not, but I'm sure you're pretty nervous. <laughs> it's one of the classic moments I have seen. Neither of them could even bear, bear to watch you. <laughs> They had their, uh, their head in their hands, and, uh, but I, I think it was awesome for them to be able to see you play for Arizona and a big road win and then be able to make the trip. Yeah, sure.